Okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll get something else good. Game Conveni 21. Sounds like it'll be some kind of a casino compilation. Well, as it turns out, I was quite wrong, but sort of right. I was taking the 21 to be reference to Blackjack, and assuming there would be other casino-style games as well. I was right, but... The 21 comes from the fact that there are 21 games in this damn thing. So we got stuff like race, shooting, speed, panel... Panel bridge, I think. Hammer attack. Patchy slot, poker, blackjack. Uh, something. Block. I'm guessing it's block Kazushi. Now we have fruit catch. We have bass fishing. Uh, air hockey. Uh, slide puzzle. So we got a myriad of crap. Let's take a look at what all we have. Actually, one moment while I check on something. Okay, so... The game was actually released only in Japan, and that's about the extent of the information I can pull on it. Why the hell did I go into the slide puzzle game? I hate slide puzzles. Especially when it's plain and boring like that. Okay, so this one... This one is sevens with a joker option. Did not know there was such a thing as a joker option in sevens. Now the idea of sevens is that you build off of... You know, you have those sevens in the middle and you can build off of them one card at a time. What's unusual here is the fact that my cards are completely out of order. Like, usually you'd have all your hearts lined up and all your diamonds lined up, etc, etc, etc. But this time they are in order entirely by... number is quite weird for this style of game. Okay, I will go with... Now, the general idea is you want to put down things which will benefit yourself, either immediately or at some point later on. So, like, I have the Jack of Clubs, I would want to put down the six. I don't want to say put down the six. No, not the six. That was dumb. But he gave us the four of clubs, so I'm okay with that. Something like the Nine of Hearts I'm going to want to hold on to because I have no other hearts to put down above Nine, so that would benefit only them and not me. So that's not a good move. Let's say... Put down Six for now. See if we can't benefit off of that a little bit. Oh, put down the Two. Sure. Okay, that did benefit us there. Yeah, you can have the 10 there. And there are three passes that you're allowed. Where, you know, if you have nothing to put down, you're forced to pass. And if you have no passes left, you're out of the game and all your cards get dropped down onto the table. Looks like we are in very good shape for... Hmm. Okay. So that's us basically done. Except I think we got second place, so... Never mind that. Oh well, that was seven. Let's try some air hockey. Not expecting any of these single games to be particularly outstanding, but... As long as they're serviceable, that's... <laughs> well, that, um, is interesting. Yeah, this sure is some air hockey. Although it's kind of interesting that we are on the right side. Usually, you know, player one would be on the left side. Let's find out. This is Baba something. It's some other form of card games. We have too many other games to try and figure out the rules to 
some sort of card game. And Shiso Jump. What's a Shiso Jump? What in the... Bit, bit, bit. No, well then. We have mice. Uh, we have mice on... Well, it's not really a trend, but seesaw. <laughs> Catching cheese. Moving on! Bass fishing. Why are we going into bass fishing? Why does bass fishing exist on... Yep. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want to go ahead back into bass fishing. Fruit catch. What kind of fruit are we catching, and is it just another basic, basic minigame? I'm reminded of a number of Game & Watch games already, just in what we have seen so far between that mouse seesaw game that's very familiar to Game & Watch game. This, of course. Moving on! Block Kuzushi, which I never remember what the hell it is until I'm at... Oh. Well then, Block Kuzushi is Breakout. Nope, moving on. What do we got? Blackjack! Oh, let's place us... Er, yeah, play us. Can we bet at all? No, we can only bet 20 at a time. And I got Blackjack right off the bat. So, there we go. I win Blackjack forever. For this game, anyway. Poker! Yeah. I guess it's five card draw. Yeah, kind of a crap hand, I will. Is that indicating keep or toss? Let's go ahead and save state. Okay, it is indicating toss. Now I will check. <laughs> and of course I lose, because I have nothing! Let's try patchy slots. See if it is just a normal slot machine. Moving on! No time for a normal slot machine when we have so much other crap to wade through. Oh, what? It, it's a maze. Like a very large maze, apparently. Interesting. I've not actually seen this sort of thing overly often. Like, this is kind of new and kind of nifty. Now, you're kind of on automated movement, like, from here, I hit left once, and it's doing all this. <laughs> so, kind of went in a big giant circle there. I gotta admit, this is pretty damn nifty for this kind of thing. This could keep you entertained and busy for a little while at least. You know, it's not something I would want to, you know, spend hours upon hours on, but as a little filler game among many others, this is admittedly cool. Cannot say I much enjoy these sound effects, though. It is not very good, so let's go ahead and move on. Hammer attack! Whack-a-mole, I'm guessing? Um... Yeah, it's whack-a-mole, but... Aha! Yes, most definitely whack-a-mole. Oh, I will assume that certain of these are... pests and others are things we don't want to be hitting. Like, I will assume the cat, or dog, or, well, probably a dog, is not something we want to hit. While the little dude in a construction helmet apparently is a pest. I guess that's not so much a construction helmet, it's more like a bandana and shades. <laughs> yep, the cat. Or, I guess some are cats and some are dogs, I'm not really certain. But we have 28 out of 20 points, so... It doesn't really much matter, we already beat the level and we just have to wait for it to end. And we get a password. Not something I was expecting. Anyways. Panel bridge. Let's see what the hell panel bridge could be. Is this a Tetris clone? 
Oh, it's... it's freaking Katangatan. Whatever the actual English name is for that, I have no idea, actually. The thing where you move, like, I hit left and that upper middle thing goes over there. And you have to move panels around. In order to do things like that, now he'll be doing stuff like that. And you just gotta generally be very speedy with this kind of thing. And then we just gotta get him over to the sun. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that will certainly work out. So that's apparently Panel Bridge. I think it is either Namco... Yeah, it's gotta be Namco that has a game called Katangatong. Which is just exactly that, except with trains. And now we have speed with, um... Interesting controls here. I think left and right would be the six and the jack. And then A and B are... A, and that's B, and then that's left, and that's right. And then, okay, hitting it again draws a new card. Not exactly the best controls I've ever seen in a game of speed. Actually, these are terrible controls for a game of speed. So let's go ahead and move on to shooting. Yeah, well. I was gonna say it's a shmup, but it's an Action 52 game where the things come to us and... Well, it does not suffer from the same effect of too many shots preventing the enemies from appearing, so it does have one up on Action 52 in that sense. Okay, let's see. Uh, die something or other. Uh, die meaning like D-A-I, big, great, anything in that nature. This is some other... Okay, I guess this is that president-slash-asshole game. Yes, indeed. That would be... Okay, so it's Daitorio. President. Literally. Let's try race. Okay, A button hits the gas button, and it's a basic racer. <laughs> I see now why we have nine extra lives. I'm just testing out controls. Yeah, that's quite enough of that. Well, this is clay something or other, so it's probably like clay shooting, clay pigeon shooting, skeet shooting, that sort of thing. And what do you know, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> and my aim is terrible. how long this... oh. 
That answers that. There are 16 more. Okay, and golf. Well, let's see if this is better than Mini Putt was. Well, it is a more normal golf game at the very least. We have. Wait a minute. We have a one. There's no power accuracy, it's just power. And. yeah, wow. I guess we hit a tree. Nifty. So yes, ah, why did I save in here? That's golf. Sure is golf-like, except even more basic than some of the most basic golf games. And the final game is freaking Mahjong! Ah, do we even have a good hand? We have two sixes, so that's a nice start. Oh, we got a three and a four and a four, that's... Almost good. Eight and a nine, again, almost. Four, five, six, that's nice. And loose a, well, no, another eight and a nine. Uh, which one's that? South and white. Uh, I don't think I'm south, so, no, I'm west. And, of course, Tablewind is east. It's gonna make us pass for every single person's turn. That is terrible Mahjong. Don't need an extra four. Eh, don't need an eight. Quickly, quickly, quickly get through this, because we don't really need to play a whole round of Mahjong. We just have a pretty good hand, so it would be nice to see if we can make anything out of it. Hmm, six, six, seven, sure. Probably not going to pick up another white dragon. 899. Nine. Now, this is the problem where everything comes in when you could have one thing or the other, and you gotta make the decision of what to drop and what's most likely to be picked up. I made the wrong decision there because that was really stupid. I just dropped a freaking 8 when I could have had a 6, 7, 8 hand. Oh well. Playing terribly. Also, that 8 was. Both eights were bad to drop. Well, now we have a nine. Let's go ahead and get rid of a six so that we might be able to get... Oh, no, nope, uh, Well, that's okay. Now, they're at reach, so they're one away from having their hand. One tile away. And I'm getting crap. <laughs> and he pulled it from the other hand. The other person's discarded tile. And they won. So we made jack shit out of our hand. Good way to end this fairly crappy game. No, that is quite enough of that. So I guess this has been Game Conveni 21. There's some pretty decent time wasters in here. And we could do worse. And it's Utterly terrible, but not really great either. <laughs>